Sailing's given me I mean, like, the most amazing career. Um, you know, the opportunities that I've had, the places that I've been able to go. To go and compete in Beijing and Rio, obviously the opportunity to compete at home games, London. Um, absolutely amazing opportunities that you know, I would never, never have experienced you know, if I hadn't got involved in the sport. It's, it's been my life, it's been my career for the last 20 odd years and uh, yeah, it's quite emotional actually watching that footage back. The people that I've met along the way and just meeting some of you know the other athletes in the Paralympics just for me massively opened you know, my eyes to some of the amazing stories behind those people. You know, if it wasn't for sailing, that certainly wouldn't be the case. I guess I knew how to sail when I was about eight years old, but it wasn't until I was about 10, 11 that uh, we went we went on holiday and it was kind of a week dinghy sailing and then a week uh, flotilla and just I think that week of dinghy sailing just messing around with other kids in lots of different classes of boats and just having fun and swimming and capsizing and suddenly realised there was you know nothing to be scared of and that sailing was really really good fun. The, at the time I was absolutely devastated. I could have fought so hard you know in being in gold medal position going into the last race you know and end up with bronze because of a plastic bag. It teaches you how to you know deal deal with the curveballs, deal with the disappointment and, and take a step back and realise actually what you have achieved and it's a case of never give up, keep fighting and just make sure you know you're always in the hunt to um, you're in the position to win a medal. Gosh, watching, watching those memories of London, and, oh, I, like, even now I get quite emotional watching them. Uh, gosh, it is for me, I think, a very emotional experience and uh, just brings back some just amazing memories.